soaking for over an hour and it was still difficult for Remy to eat it. I think she has gum problems or tooth problems, I don't know. And here's a Ruger over here being all guilty about something. I don't know where they were for the last hour. <laughs> you want some bellies, huh? All right, I'll give you some bellies. Yeah, look who's here. Is there Remy? Oops. <laughs> yes, you're at again, Remy. That's the second time you've done that. You gotta quit doing that. It's a good Ruger. It's a good Ruger. Yes, you are. It's a good puppy. Yes, you are. It's a good Ruger. Yeah, it's a good puppy. Yeah. You want some belly, so don't you? Who's trying to sneak in over here? <laughs> have fun now. Anyway, I watered the uh, Joshua tree, the saguaro. Gave that just a little bit of water. Gave this quite a few gallons. Watered those things. Um, I even watered this. There's nothing over there I needed to water. Watered that a little bit. Watered that. Watered that. main reason I started was because I wanted to give this some water. I don't know for sure it's going to survive. Not even on my property, actually. I mean, it's real close. It's like, it's like so close. <laughs> but I don't even think it's on my property. So... There they are. Guilty as hell. Like I said, they just got home. So, and here I am at Santan Solar in Phoenix. All these are used panels. Oh, nice, nice store. All sorts of goodies. Charge controllers and wire and everything else you could want. So, but for example, this 250 watt panel here, 50 bucks. That's a used one. Here's a brand new 310 watt panel, 120 bucks. You know, so. I always find good deals. Problem is, you gotta come to Phoenix to get them. Here's a warehouse for all the solar panels, the used solar panels. So they're not running out anytime soon. One panel's up.
my uh, new 40 amp F ever MPPT solar charge controller. guys going. I want you to stay home today. I want you to stay home today. Those two panels are 250 watts each, so that'll be 500 watts bringing in here rather than the 400 I was bringing in with the other four panels. And those four panels are going to go up on top of the roof. Like I said, I got those two panels, $50 each, 20 cents a watt, uh, 250 watt panels for 50 bucks each. So how could I go wrong? But this one's all hooked up, it's all running, it's all working, as far as I can tell. Got to do a little more studying and read the RTFM, read the F and manual on the charge controller, find out exactly how to work it. They didn't notice any way that I could adjust how many amps it puts in before it cuts off. But I'm sure there's a setting in there for that. Well, that part of the project's done. Well, let's see what I got done today so far. Um, those panels were all hooked up, working, running, running through the up ever uh, solar charge controller. So that's 500 watts there. now have eight panels up on the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a little gap there at the end. As to when I put the ladder, I can get up there on the roof without stepping on anything. It's just kind of the way it worked out. Not quite enough room for one more panel. But uh, this was what I've been wanting to do since I first started putting the solar in. Now I'm in the process of upgrading what I got rather than getting what I need. So, and I have some pipe there for working on the first flush rain system. You can see I got the gutter all the way across there, straight across. Still got to brace it up so that it's flat. And these panels, the new. I put two on the east side and two on the west side, and I've already got the cables run. I just need to punch a hole through the wall, run the cables in, and hook up the battery and hook up the solar panel. That'll be a few days, but I'm all done with climbing up there, so I don't need the, the ladder anymore, which is a good thing. My puppies are hard at work. Oops. There's Remy. And there's Ruger. They're doing a damn good job of keeping the dust down right there underneath the Jeep. And uh, the board I'm going to put for the backing is right there. Got a cut. I already stained it. I was faced with the dilemma of how to finish it. All I had was either white paint 
uh, tan paint, about the color of the shades, that uh, terracotta color, orange, whatever color you want to color it, call it, or green, or the stain. So I'm going to put the stain, I put the stain on it, and I'm going to put that board up, where am I, right there, up and down, with one of these charge controllers up on the top for the East Basin ones, then the Up Ever, and then one of these below the Up Ever for the West Facing ones. So, because East and West have to be on their own separate charge controller, and then the Up Ever is running those five, two 500 waters, or two 250 waters I got out front there. So, 14.8, it's an absorption, I don't know if you can see that. 15.8 is absorption, and it's uh, almost 130.